lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lacia, and today I have your fabulous vintage tea with me video. This is a fabulous new series I'm putting together where I'll be sipping tea and sharing the tea with you. Now, if you're not a RuPaul Drag Race fan, the tea is the truth. So I'll be discussing topics of truth, my opinions, story times, and lots of other vintage fun. For today's topic, I'll be discussing how to start dressing vintage. And I thought I'd start at the beginning of my own journey and how I began to dress vintage myself. In my teen years, I had already begun experimenting with my styling when I discovered Dita Von Tees. She inspired me to start dressing vintage, so I started donning red lipstick, wearing thigh-high stockings, trying to play with my own vintage style a little bit more. It wasn't long before I was completely in love with this beautiful style and I began to wear it every day. In my own journey, I would definitely say this was a gradual process of dressing more and more vintage. So I began to incorporate more elements that really suited the aesthetic that I wanted to achieve. Dressing vintage, I feel I can express myself creatively. I have a lot of fun dressing up. For me, it's not about dressing up for anyone else but rather myself expressing who I am and just having fun playing with styling. If dressing vintage is something you'd really like to get into I'd sort of break it down into different sections. So we have our hair and makeup styling so you'd look at what sort of look you'd like to achieve. Are you inspired by the 1940s, the 1950s or are you like me and like to sort of amalgamate a few looks together. You can then look at vintage fashion. Do you prefer true vintage aesthetic or a modern aesthetic and start sourcing clothing for either side of these. Next up is probably one of my favorite aspects to dressing vintage, and this is the accessory side. Think brooches, jewelry, gloves, and other fabulous accessories that you can include in your life. who are interested in dressing vintage yourself, I have three methods as such to get you starting to dress vintage. The first method is if you want to start dressing vintage and you feel confident, just do it. There's no need to take a long time sort of progressing to that look. If this is something you really are passionate about, just start embodying it every day. Have fun with your look and dress the way you want to dress. The second method is to practice vintage styling and hone in on your skills before you start wearing it every day day. This is for someone who may not be as confident and they want to work up to being a certain style before they start wearing it every day. So start practicing your hair and makeup, work on putting together a beautiful vintage wardrobe and when you feel confident start wearing it out to special events is probably the easiest way and then eventually to your everyday life. Our third method for today is for someone who doesn't want to drastically change too quickly so essentially you want to start slowly introducing vintage aspects to your wardrobe. If you go to many stores like Target and Kmart and other companies like Alana Hill and Dangerfield produce many vintage inspired clothing so you can start incorporating such items as pencils, skirts, swing skirts, maybe starting to play with curling your hair a little bit, wearing a little red lipstick, but slowly bringing these things into your life so you feel maybe it's not as much of a shock for those around you. For many of us, we may not have the luxury of dressing in a vintage style for our work or other functions, so it's about just having a little element of that that makes you feel a little bit more confident. If you work in a workplace where all your hair has to be tied back, maybe just wear a little red lipstick to make you feel a little bit more in character. Or if you work in a more professional environment, you can don a vintage style suit and really play it up as best as you can for the uniform that you have to wear for work. One of the questions people often ask me, especially if I'm just up at the shops, is if this is the way I dress every day. And for me, it is a part of my identity and how I want to express myself. So it's definitely something that I commit to every day. Even on days when I don't go out, I won't do the full glamour level, but I have a lot of vintage loungewear and also just nightwear. So I feel glamorous even if I'm not completely dressed up. For you though, you don't have to dress vintage every day. There's no rule that says you have to dress a certain way every day of your life. There's no rule saying you can never change your styling habits and there's definitely no rule that you have to be a purist vintage and only dress in true vintage clothing. There's no need to dress up vintage every day. For many people this isn't a feasible option. You may have family commitments, 
work commitments or other things that don't make this possible. Or you may just not feel that style that day. You can really express yourself however you choose. There are no rules here. Now dressing vintage does certainly attract a lot of attention. Out of all the comments I received from people in the last couple months, I honestly can't think of a negative thing someone has come up and said to me. Sometimes I'll get strange looks because I do dress different to the general population and I definitely take that as something that I'm proud of. And if you're worried about what people think, honestly, don't let it bother you. Life is too short to not enjoy yourself. And Dita Von Tees is famously quoted for saying, only mediocrity is safe dare to be different. And I think we should definitely live by these words because no matter what, people are going to have bad things to say about us and we should just enjoy ourselves and have fun with dressing up. Above all, you want dressing up to be about having fun, self-expression and any other element that's important to you in your vintage styling journey. I would love to hear about your own vintage styling journey in the comments below. Are you at the beginning of your journey? Are you just starting to experiment with styling? How is your journey? so far progressing. If you're someone who's already living your best life, let me know in the comments how you discovered vintage and how your style has developed over time. I'm thinking about putting together some other videos and I thought I'd inquire to see which would appeal to you most. Would you like to see some more everyday vintage looks, so incorporating more modern fashions to create a vintage look? Or would you like me to show you how to style more of a true vintage inspired look? Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next in my fabulous videos. And as always, if you'd like to stay up to date with all my vintage fun, be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you all real soon.